<laughs> yeah, I know those idiots on YouTube will watch anything, right? Yeah, bunch of retards. <laughs> oh, wow, awkward. You guys are there. What's up? We've got the Endura 4. And this one here is a little different than that green one. I don't have it here for comparison. That's the uh, full flat grind version. And this is the full serrated. You saw it in my uh, Spyderco Police review that I just finished finished with. And this is the full serrated version. This one I got as a, as a gift from my son. No, actually, I got this for him as a gift. But I was looking at him when I said that. He didn't think that was too funny over there watching his George Bulldog football or whatever he's doing. Anyways, it's a pretty great blade. It's, it's like your, any of your other Enduras. I will say that you get some extra heft on that blade. You can flip it a little easier because that blade weighs a little bit more now. You know, you take a lot of that weight out when you get that full flat grind in place. Like on this Delica here. So you can still flip it, but this sucker, I mean, this flips pretty good. And I mean, when I'm sitting there playing with it off camera, you know, it's nice. It's a fun blade to sit there and uh, spidey drop and to flip with, you know. And uh, one hand close and all that stuff, so it's pretty cool. And if, I'm, if I made a reference to spidey dropping, you know, that's when you're going to hold it like this and sling it down. And then I do that one hand close deal where you freaking flip it like that and then spin and shot it. So be careful, but, you know, with this mid lock, it makes it a lot easier to shut a lock back knife uh, one handed. This is a lock back. And this is a lock back. And this is a lock back. And this is a log back. And this is a log back. And this is a log back. And I'm showing you all of this to show that this is pretty much what I have like three more log backs in my entire collection. All of these are spider codes. I hated log backs growing up. I'm like, whatever, you know. I love that liner lock showed up. I'm like, heck yeah, this is it, you know. And uh, I say growing up, you know, four or five years ago, I wouldn't have touched a log back blade for anything. But now, and with Spyderco kind of bringing it to my attention, seeing some of the, your guys' reviews and stuff like that on YouTube, this, uh, these lockbacks are great. I like them a lot. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I wanted to show this one. I do have a full-on review, you know, out there of that other Spyderco. But just kind of give you an extra, you know, up-to-date just because you do have the saber grind. And that full serrated edge, which goes... A lot closer to the tip than that Spider Co. Police did, too. Well, I say a lot, okay. It seemed a lot in my head. I don't know if you can see that or not in that sunshine. Anyways, let's get you a weight. FRN handles, you do have that uh, painted black clip that wears and gets nasty looking, and nobody seems to be enthusiastic about, so we'd all wish they'd polish it. At least I do. Either that or parkerize it, do something like that parking or rise, whatever it is, to uh, make it a little better. You know what I mean? Make it stand up, you're going to do it, don't have it look like crap. Benchmade does that too, where the pocket clips look like trash after a couple of months of using it. 3.43. Excellent blade here. This is one of those good ones to, uh, I'd say maybe a little pricey to leave in a truck, depending on, you know, obviously what you got, go for it. But... I leave my Caracaras, my bird, you know, my bird lines. I leave those kind of laying around the truck and stuff like that. So this one here, um, I'd probably either put it in an EDC roll, maybe inside the waistband, or uh, probably a tackle box kind of thing. I'd probably run with that Pacific Salt or like a Salt One or something like that, which is that H1 steel probably for that tackle box area, but this seems like something that uh, I'd probably use that in that role. Kind of a utility deal. You know, take this when you're out there in the yard cutting on your bushes or whatever you do in your yard. But pretty sweet looking blade, nice and thick, that tip. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen where they say they keep that saber grind to keep that tip nice and strong, and that'll freaking do it, man. <laughs> That thing's a monster. Sorry if I keep getting too close and messing that up. Yeah, overall, great blade. I've taken this thing apart, and it sucked. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. You can take it apart with the hex heads, 
and I made a real quick video, but you're probably not gonna watch it, so I'll show you. These little uh, Husky deals. There's your Torx driver, and there's your Phillips and Flathead. And that's your uh, your jeweler screwdriver sets, like five something bucks a piece at Lowe's, and you have every tip you need right there in the handle. So I'll leave this thing in my safe. You can take apart anything with this deal. But anyways, took it apart. See right there. Nice and easy. I don't want to take it all the way out, but you get what I'm going with with that. And uh, that lock bar is a pain in the butt to mess with. So I would keep that in mind. Make sure you really want to take this thing apart or, you know, you did something that you need to take it apart for. Dunk it in salt water or something. But Anyways, great blade, guys. I appreciate you watching. We'll do a quick, even though you should know the size by now size comparison just for you know I had these a little while ago but a lot of you guys had them before I did and made videos on it so if you're looking to get an Endura I'd, I'd highly recommend it it's great there's a couple of other uh, guys out there that swear by them that's their fra favorite models you know as far as EDC blades and stuff like that and I'm right there with them great blade I've EDC'd the uh, full flat grind version quite a bit use it in a lot of cooking prep and uh, that VG10 is good stuff, man. You can get a good edge on it and then hit that sharpening, that uh, ceramic rod a couple of times when you get home. You hit it every afternoon. I keep mine by my wallet where I put my keys and stuff like that in the evening when I get home. And uh, hit it pretty much every day when you get home, and you're good to go, man. That thing stays razor sharp. And then you're known for that guy that has the knives that cut people and they don't like you. So, hey, that's cool. I'm all up for being not being liked. You guys be good. We'll talk to you later.